seven years ago, I felt a pain in my chest and uh, I thought I could manage it. So I ignored it and I continued to go back to work until the day I had a blackout in the office. During my health screening, I was told that my condition was very severe and that I could collapse any time. Mr. Chua, you've been referred to us for heart surgery to resolve your heart problem. So we're meeting here today to discuss possible options and address any questions you may have. Uh, doctor, I know that my condition is very severe and I need to attend to it as soon as possible. I want to understand what are the treatments that are available. Yes, Doctor, we are very worried for his condition and hope to seek your advice. Well, one option you may consider is minimal invasive cardiac surgery, MICS for short. MICS is a set of technologies and skills aiming to reduce surgical trauma and improve recovery in heart surgery patients. The key difference between MICS and classical heart surgery is that MICS avoids splitting the chest bone. The MICS approach involves smaller keyhole incisions on the side of the chest without cutting bones using specialized instruments and cameras. MICS is becoming a popular option for effectively treating the same severe heart diseases. I see, but will this surgery be suitable for me? Well, in general, only some patients with very severe or combined conditions, severe obesity, and some adverse anatomical and vascular features may not qualify for minimal invasive cardiac surgery. MICS can also address a variety of other heart problems, such as most heart valve diseases, arrhythmias, as well as coronary artery disease. The main uses for MICS are heart valve problems, such as mitral valve leakage or stenosis. Here, the chest is entered through a small incision from the right side and care is taken to set up tools so that perfect access to the heart valve is guaranteed. A second, smaller incision is made in the groin to introduce the heart-lung machine. Surgeons may also employ robotic arms and instruments instead of using their own hands. In the case of aortic valve surgery, there are two ways that MICS can be used either through a partial mini sternotomy or through a right anterior mini thoracotomy between the second and third ribs. For the minimal invasive bypass procedure, a small incision is performed on the left side of the chest between the fifth and sixth ribs. Specialized equipment is used to reach the coronary arteries. In some cases, the heart surgeon and cardiologist can work together to perform two procedures in one surgery. This is called a hybrid procedure. The day after the surgery, I started the physiotherapy and eight days later, I was discharged from the hospital. A month later, I was up and about attending to all my duties all over the country. I think this incident had taught me to take responsibility for my health, no matter how busy I am. What may seem like a small issue now can be a big issue later. So I think it is best that we address this issue while it is manageable. Minimal Invasive Cardiac Surgery, or MICS, is not a new type of surgery. It is an established practice, now made easier and safer with new technology. We believe that Minimal Invasive Cardiac Surgery will become a staple in heart surgery procedures. The benefits of Minimal Invasive Cardiac Surgery have been well proven worldwide. Patients lose less blood during the procedure and have a lower risk for infection and arrhythmia. They return to their regular activities faster, and of course, they enjoy a better cosmetic result. I do maintain an active lifestyle and I don't watch what I eat, thinking that I can exercise everything away until I was diagnosed with three artery blockage and I was very shocked by the news. Having gone through the surgery has made me realise the importance of healthy eating. Even though I'm physically active, four months later, I started my training which enabled me to participate in a 21km marathon run. I have a heart condition since young and I've actually undergone a balloon valvulaplasty. But over the years, my condition has actually worsened and the doctor has strongly advised me that I need to do a valve replacement. I was worried that I could not fulfil my duties and roles as a mother as I have a very young child and as well as I was worried that I could not return to my business and, my, and running of my operations after the surgery. After the surgery, I was really relieved that I could perform my normal routine but my biggest achievement was being able to carry my son. After two months, I went for our pre-planned Switzerland trip. I was able to do trekking without feeling breathless or tired. 
Upon returning from my trip, I was back to my normal work routine, managing my restaurants and my accounting firm. Minimal invasive cardiac surgery has its advantages and is available in Singapore. But it's not the only way to perform heart surgery. Some patients may not qualify. Median stenotomy, which means opening up the chest bone, is still a safe and efficient way to perform heart surgery. Remember, the main aim of heart surgery is to benefit the patient with a good and durable result. So please do ask your doctor whether you qualify for minimal invasive cardiac surgery or to refer you to a center with relevant experience.